Matt Fischar with Neri, and I'm here in London for EPRA's annual convention. And I'm joined by Roni Sofer, the president of Gazi Globe. Um, your company has operations across the globe. How do you see the global macroeconomic and financial market situations developing over the next year? What we're seeing globally today, Gazit is in 20 different countries uh, with close to 18 billion years of total asset on the group level. Uh, we're definitely seeing in the last uh, few quarters improving in most of the region, if not all the region we operate. Uh, it's coming to, to in effect on, on stabilized occupancy, increasing occupancy rate a little bit, same property in the end wider grew. And also we're seeing from market to market some sort of a cap rate compression co comparing to 2008, 2009 downturn. You've been with the company for 15 years now. What is the most important thing about running a company with such a wide ranging operation? I think it's a combination. First of all, you need to be focused. And we're focusing on one main asset class, which is supermarket and shopping center. Uh, we took this pro prototype and tried to replicate it globally and do it very successfully. Uh, the most important thing, the second most important thing, I think it's really having local management team, having the right people on the ground. And our model has been very successful, really at attracting the most talented people. And through our almost 10 platform globally, uh, these are real strength. And uh, because you cannot invest, develop, and manage, and we're doing soup to nuts, operating from all the aspects of the business uh, through a co remote control. You need to have the people on the ground, they're going to protect you on the downside, and going to help you to capitalize on opportunities. Are there countries or markets not currently in your portfolio where you expect or would like to see the company expand? Today, you know, we, in the last two years, we've been very bullish on the U.S. economy. We've been very bullish on selective market in Europe, such as Poland, Czech Republic, and Finland, Sweden, and Italian Estonia. And we are just building an operation in Brazil, still a startup, like four properties. And so I think our plate is f completely full right now, but we're always looking for the next opportunity. You mentioned that you've been bullish on the U.S. market. Can you tell me where your thoughts are in terms of where you see the, your U.S. operations going over the next year? We think we really, what we like in the U.S. Um, is the fact that um, the macro is soft. I think we have the ability to enter to, to our uh, <coughs> subsidiary in retail as Equity One, on, we have also the healthcare component through Promet, our private company. The opportunity is really to enter to, to market with eBay to entry. But usually at the good time, it's very difficult to enter those markets, and the ticket price is very high. So we enter to the North, uh, Cali the North California market, we enter the New York market, Long Island, Manhattan. Uh, recently, we did an acquisition in Boston on, on the medical office building side. So I think really, first of all, to enter to Iberry to entry market. Second, each property we're buying, there's upside potential, not just the going in spread, but also potential by depressed renting, renting, rental environment, occupancy rate, and potential for future development, redevelopment by getting zoning right. That maybe today seems a little bit uh, unrealistic uh, realistic to, to use them, but going forward with our experience, we know that there will be need for uh, for those, uh, those opportunity and we have the ability to create more cash flow and more upside from those property we're buying. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. For more on the global real estate market, be sure to visit REIT.com as well as EPRA.com. <laughs>